How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in today's video we're going to be diving into Be Cool AI Repricer uh, which is basically a new update of sorts from Be Cool on their repricer. Um, I've previously done a video on them using their old repricer and I've had the opportunity to kind of dive in using the AI feature that they implemented recently um, and it's actually pretty good. Um, so I'm going to be go ahead and I'm going to show you how it's been working out for me, um, show you some general tips for the rules and I also have a giveaway for this video. Um, there's going to be a website down below Hello. that's my website with some resources for you guys and until um, May 9th I'm going to be giving away one year subscription for be cool AI repricer um, and all you got to do is leave your name and email address and then from then I'll pick a winner on May 9th so go ahead and get your name down in there uh, there's only gonna be you know a thousand people or so that see this video so you've got a pretty good shot of winning so go ahead and throw your email down there that's all I need from you um, and I can reach out to you when the when the drawing happens and you could win potentially a six hundred dollars worth of software um, just for doing that so we're gonna just uh, see how good be cool AI really is I'll show you a product that it helped kind of revitalize for me um, but let's go ahead and jump right into that before we do that if you could press the subscribe button down below uh, that would help me out in a big way I'm gonna contribute some value to your business so if you could help mine out that would be great so I started using the new AI repricer on April 6th um, and this is a product that I've been carrying for a little bit uh, and it's seen uh, some average sales it, it used to sell better in the past um, but it kind of stopped selling as much and it was doing you know maybe uh, a unit every other day or so and then I turned the AI repricer on on the sixth for it and I saw four sales um, the both days after that and then it just continued to climb until eventually this day I sold 24 units of it um, that's way more than I'd ever sold in the past um, and I noticed that the AI repricer was moving the price around a lot um, still within the bounds of where I'm okay with it being uh, fairly profitable um, I think I pay about eight dollars a unit for this so this is a good um, sell even at that twenty dollar price point it went down a little bit and I think the average sale price here was 1940 something um, so it was really working in within the bounds uh, kind of trying to find where it would get the most buy box and it really dialed in here towards the end um, and was selling way too fast and I um, sold out so I went ahead and placed a, a much bigger PO for this this is a wholesale product that I still sell uh, that's why I've got some of the information hidden but um, you can see the difference between when I used the AI repricer and not at all just by looking at this graph here um, it's uh, the sales jump was pretty noticeable um, so for me that was already worth the cost of the subscription just off this one product so if you add that into all your other wholesale and online arbitrage products that's gonna help you capture even more buy box um, and I saw jumps like this across almost all my products that were within my that price range that I'm looking for um, it, it has a really sophisticated algorithm not entirely sure how it works but it kind of learns what your um, competitors are gonna do when a certain price action is taken so it doesn't just say um, so most repricers right now will just say okay this is the price right now I'm gonna undercut it by a penny or whatever your repricing rules say um, somehow this AI is learning what your competitors are gonna do and then shifts the price up and down um, in order to get buy box and maintain your profitability at the same time um, so it was moving around within a couple dollars and some days it was selling super profitably um, and then it was selling high volume some days um, with a little bit lower profit but was still selling uh, like way more than it was in the past I was having trouble getting some buy box rotation on this one but the AI repricer definitely uh, increased that buy box percentage by in a big way so if you've never seen be cool before basically what it does is it allows you to set a minimum and a maximum price within a certain product to set the price based on whatever profitability you, you want that item to have um, and you're gonna use that information to kinda uh, decide your sales volume because if you're gonna sell it low you're gonna get higher volume um, and sacrifice profit margin and that kinda stuff um, but you're gonna go in and set the minimum and maximum price for every item so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that real quick so these are some past products right here just so I can show you what it looks like within be cool so right here you're gonna set your minimum price and then your maximum price um, and you're just gonna do that by looking at keep graphs and figuring out this is uh, the acceptable price range where I want it to sell and you can tell the AI to sell it anywhere in there and it will use that minimum and maximum to kind of figure out the kind of wiggle room it has to make those adjustments to get the buy box percentage for you um, you can also sync it up with inventory lab so some of these newer ones on here are synced up with inventory lab so that'll actually sync your costs up with inventory lab and then run the profit calculations and stuff uh, it in be cool itself uh, and so you can see right here uh, it's got an $11 profit already calculated right there for this book 
Um, these are just some products from the past just so I can show you. So you'd go ahead and say like you want this one to sell between 11 <coughs> or 20. And then you just press save. And then in the rules right here, this is where the uh, different aspects of Be Cool will come into play. And I'll go into these in just a second. But you just select this AI buy box right here and then press save. And then it's just going to run and use the new AI to go ahead and reprice that listing. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump into the actual repricing rules here. And I've been using this one a lot, this AI buy box winner too. Um, this is kind of a, uh, a moderate repricer with um, FBA and FBM co competition. Um, there's these other two options. Uh, there's the intense competition, moderate and low. Um, I watched a little bit of a, a webinar that said that you should use this one if it's a whole bunch of competitors or if you're FBM. Um, this one is if you've got like five to t five to 15 competitors and you're FBA. And then this one is for FBA or FBM. If you've got, um, let's say under five competitors, these are going to be for your slower sellers where the price isn't likely to, uh, move as much. I've been using this one uh, on everything so far. I'm going to go ahead and check out these other ones, see how they perform profitability-wise. But just to check it out, I've been using this, um, the moderate competition option. Um, so you're just going to click next and check it out here. Um, so these are just the rules that you're going to give it. It's a lot simpler than the other Be Cool rules if you've messed with Be Cool at all before because um, you have to tell Be Cool exactly what to do um, when your price is not like within the box. You have to give it exact rules what to do every time. Um, but when you let the AI take control, it's going to take all the effort off of you and on the AI um, that's kind of uh, something you have to mentally get over, uh, just letting the software run for you. Um, I kind of had a little bit of hesitation with it, and so I ran it on five or six products for the first week or so, just those products, and I saw really good results, and so I transferred a bunch of my other good listings over to that, and I've seen pretty good results from that. Um, my sales have jumped pretty decently from using this repricer, um, and so what this is going to do is just set a bunch of different options. Um, you can tell it what to do when no one owns the buy box. Um, this is just going to chase the buy box. Uh, if you're the only seller, you can go to that max and try to uh, maximize the profit you're getting. That's why setting your max and min is actually pretty important. Um, don't just set your max at 999 because then you're going to either get stranded because um, it's too high price or it's just not going to sell. And then these other things, um, it's just going to make sure that your uh, your product is within the buy box as much as possible. So then with the next thing here, you can set it on a schedule or you can set it to just run continually. I just have mine running continually. Um, I don't see the need to um, schedule it. I guess if you want to be a little more conservative, you could schedule it every uh, 15 minutes, every 30 minutes or so. But I just like to have it running consistently. Try to chase that buy box as much as possible. And you just press next and then you set press finish. Um, this The AI rules are a lot easier to set up than the more complicated rules with without AI. Um, and that's just going to go ahead and chase that buy box. So as far as using this new AI repricer, uh, it's got a lot of really good benefits. Uh, the first was um, just getting those buy box percentages up because um, that's really what's uh, really important is to just make sure that you're consistently moving product. Um, it's also going to make sure that you're maximizing those profits as it as it continues to learn each ASIN individually. It's going to learn what your competitors do and it's going to learn how to sell your product for the highest price. Um, it's going to try to get that buy box price raised within that limit you set. So it's going to try to get game your competitors a little bit so that the buy box price goes up and then everybody's profits go up. Um, that's a really cool feature I like about this. Um, it's really easy to set up like I just showed you. There's barely any manual work you have to do. So go ahead and just um, check it out on a couple of your ASINs. Um, there's going to be a free trial down below for a couple days um, if you want to go ahead and check that out and that also is going to help me out as well. Um, but yeah, I'd say this product is definitely worth checking out. If you want to get in for the drawing, uh, there's going to be one year of AI given away to one of you guys. If you would just want to go ahead and check out my website, uh, you're just going to drop your name and email and then I'll reach out to one of you guys on May 5th. Um, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks, guys.